All right. Uh, welcome, everyone, to basically the announcement of Tesla Energy. All right. So uh, what I'm going to talk about tonight is about a fundamental transformation of how the world works, about how energy is delivered uh, in, in the, in, across the Earth. This is how it is today. It's pretty bad. So that <laughs> sucks, exactly. <laughs> I just want to be clear, because sometimes some people are like confused about this. This is real, <laughs> OK? It, this is actually how most, you know, most power in the world is, is generated with, with fossil fuels. And if you look at the, the curve, that's a, a famous curve, the Keeling curve, which shows the, uh, the growth in CO2 uh, concentration in the atmosphere. And every year, it ratchets up. It gets higher and higher. And if we do nothing, that's, how, that's what, where it's headed, to, to, an, to levels that we don't even see in the fossil record. So this is, <laughs> so, well, I think, we, I think we collectively should do something about this. Um, <laughs> and and, and not, not try to win the Darwin Award. Um, the, for us and a lot of other creatures, too. Didn't, so the, if, the way the grid works today is this. You've got coal, you've got natural gas, nuclear, hydro, um, and then wind and solar. But not, not enough wind and solar, obviously. Um, so that's, that's, that's sort of the, the grid typically in most countries. Um, and then you'll, you'll notice something, which is that the, there's a quite a big difference in peak to trough usage. So the, the peak usage is typically at least twice the, the trough usage. Um, so please bear that in mind. I'm going to re reference that again later uh, in the presentation. That, that's an important point. So wh what we're here to talk about is the solution. I actually think it's really a fairly obvious solution, uh, but it's something that we need to, to do. Uh, and the solution is in two parts. Part one, the sun. <laughs> We, we have, we have this, this handy fusion reactor in the sky called the sun. Okay. You don't have to do anything. It just works. It shows up every day and produces ridiculous amounts of power. Okay. The, now, a lot of people aren't clear on, on how much surface area is needed to generate enough power to, to completely get the United States off of fossil fuels. I mean, people really, most people have no idea. They think that it must be some huge amount of area, like maybe you need these satellites in space and like space solar power. If anyone should be in favor of space solar power, it should be me. Um, <laughs> but, but, but this is completely unnecessary <laughs> because actually very little land is needed to, to, to power, to, to get rid of all fossil fuel uh, electricity generation in the United States. That blue square there is the, is, the, is the land area that's needed to transition the United States to a zero carbon electricity situation. It's really not much. And most of that, most of that area is going to be in rooftops. So it's, it's, you, you won't need to disturb land. You won't need to find new, new areas. Um, it's mostly just going to be on existing, the roofs of existing homes and buildings. So I, I, I really think that, that that image is an important one to bear in mind when people are thinking about solar power, like how much will it take? Is it going to take some enormous amount? No, it's just that blue square. OK. <laughs> blue square. Now, the obvious problem with uh, solar power is that the sun does not shine at night. Um, <laughs> so I think most people are aware of this. Um, so this, this problem needs to be solved. We need to store the energy uh, that is generated during the day so that you can use it at night. Um, and, and also, even during the day, the, 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 the energy generation varies. There's a lot more uh, energy generated uh, in the middle of the day than at dawn or dusk. So it's very important to smooth out that energy generation and retain enough so that you can use it at night. So Now, what you may not have noticed in, in that earlier slide where I showed the blue square was that there was one red pixel OK, in, in, in the blue square was a red pixel. Now it's zoomed in, so you can see that red pixel. That is the size of the batteries needed to transition all of the United States to being solar with batteries. OK, it is a very tiny amount. <laughs> OK. One pixel. <laughs> Just remember that. 
One pixel is, this, is, is the size of the batteries needed to, for the United States to have no uh, fossil fuel generated electricity. This is, this is no room at all. So not, not a problem for solar or batteries. Now, the issue with existing batteries is that they suck, okay? <laughs> They're really horrible. <laughs> they look like that. Um, they're, they're, they're expensive, they, they're, they're, they're unreliable, they're, they're sort of stinky, ugly, bad in every way, um, very expensive. Uh, you have to get some sort of, uh, you know, you, you need to combine multiple systems. There's not one integrated uh, place you can go and buy a battery that just works, uh, which is what people really want to buy. So we have to, we have to come up with a solution. Uh, that, that, that's, the, that's the missing piece, that's the thing that's needed to, to have a proper transition to a sustainable energy world. So the missing piece is what we're gonna show you tonight. This is this little product we call the Tesla Powerwall. Um, and if you look back against that wall, you'll see a whole bunch of them as well in different colors. <laughs> so you can pick your favorite color. And it looks like a beautiful sculpture on the wall. So it's very important. I, mean, I want to point out a few things that, that are very important about this. Um, the fact that it's wall mounted is, is vital because it means you don't need to have a battery room. Okay, you don't have to have some room filled with nasty batteries. Uh, it means that a normal household can mount this uh, on, the, on their garage or on the outside wall of their house, um, and it doesn't take up any room. It's, it, I mean, it's flat against the wall. It, it has all of the integrated safety systems, the thermal controls, the DC to DC converter. It's designed to work very well with solar systems right out of the box. And it's, uh, it, has, it, it addresses all the needs. It's, and it's, if, you, if, you, if you're uh, uh, thinking about sort of buying a battery, what does this provide you? Well, it gives you peace of mind. So if there's a, if, if there's a, a cut in the utilities, you're always going to have power, particularly if you're in a place that's very cold. Now you'll, you, you don't have to worry about um, being out of power if there's, a, if there's an ice storm. Um, you can actually go, if you want, completely off grid. You can take your solar panels, charge the battery packs, and that's, and that's all you use. So it gives you safety, security, uh, it, it, and it gives you a complete and affordable solution. And the cost of this is $3,500. And, it, it's, and it's designed so you can stack them on the wall. So if you look at the wall in the back, you'll see that there, there, are, you can have, there are some that are paired up. So you can have two, you can actually stack up to nine of the power walls. 